Costa Rica is world-renowned for its striking diversity of birds, reptiles, and invertebrates, all of which make up a massive portion of the rainforest's biodiversity. However, it is a lesser-known fact that this country is home to around 250 different mammal species, each one carving its own niche in the ecosystem. The reason that the mammals have not become as famous as the avian or reptilian life is because more often than not, these species are elusive, secretive, and not common around human settlements. This makes them a challenge to witness in the wild, let alone film for an educational video. Luckily for us, we spent a great deal of time in regions where these mammals can be seen, and we managed to get a couple really fascinating species in front of the cameras. They are a treat to observe and were a major accomplishment to film, so let's take a look at some of the rainforest's most charismatic mammals. Variegated squirrels were a common sight on our adventures, though getting them on camera proved to be easier said than done. These little guys are lightning quick and found all throughout Central America, from Guatemala right down through Panama. Now, variegated squirrels prefer dry, tropical forests and spend almost their entire lives in the canopy. They eat, sleep, and even breed in the treetops, where they forage for seeds and fruits mostly. Now, tricky as these guys may have been to get on camera, Thankfully, they are of least concern according to the IUCN, and their main sources of danger only come from natural predators like boas and hawks. One of our luckiest encounters on the trip was a run-in with one of Costa Rica's lesser-known mammals, the agouti. Agoutis are the second largest rodent in Central America, growing up to 22 inches in length and are second only to the paca in size. Agoutis are diurnal and spend their days foraging for fallen fruit and nuts in rainforests, scrubland, and even cultivated areas like farms. One interesting thing about the foraging habits of agoutis is that they bury small stores of food around their range much like squirrels do, and they use their exceptional sense of smell to uncover them later. Agoutis are very shy creatures and will typically flee from humans, and our encounter with this elusive creature ended almost as quickly as it began. So we are here at the La Paz Wildlife Sanctuary, still filming, and we've finally come across some white-nosed coatis. Now, it has been the entire trip we've been looking for this species, and we've not seen one until just now, and this is absolutely incredible. Now, the coati is actually related to raccoons. That's one of their closest relatives, and it has been pouring here in the rainforest, so these guys are a little wet, but usually their tails are these really bright, big plumes of fur and they will actually follow each other around in the rainforest. We have a lot of individuals, I've counted nearly 20, and these guys are actually here looking for food scraps. It's not a great way for them to be living. We would hope to see them more naturally occurring, but it is still really awesome to get to see some coatis here in Costa Rica, finally, after all this time. White-nosed coatis are diurnal and omnivorous meaning that they are active during the day and feed on a variety of plants and animals, including insects, fruits, eggs, and small reptiles or rodents. They can be found all over Central America and are some of the most recognizable mammals in the region. This group that we encountered is considered an average-sized one, as they can have up to 40 individuals in a single group, mostly consisting of females and juveniles. Adult male coatis are more solitary, and rarely join these bigger groups. Coatis are great climbers, and they spend some of their time up in the trees, but they forage most often on the ground, using their powerful sense of smell to detect food in the leaf litter. Though most mammals in Costa Rica are quite elusive, white-nosed coatis are actually quite commonly seen due to the fact that they habituate well to human settlement and are active during the day. This makes them a popular species for ecotourists and wildlife enthusiasts, and filming them was most definitely a highlight of our trip. In our experience, filming mammals is one of the hardest things a wildlife filmmaker can do, because they are often very skittish and not typically active during the same hours that people are. The challenges that filming mammals presents makes it incredibly rewarding, and getting these guys on camera was a privilege for us. These mammals are an integral part of the ecosystem, and are some of the most iconic animals in the entire country. Like all rainforest species, however, they are under immense threat from deforestation, human expansion, and illegal hunting, 
and it is our hope that by presenting these beautiful animals to all of you, we can garner more support for rainforest conservation efforts and give people a reason to want to protect this incredible place. If you guys enjoyed learning about these awesome Costa Rican mammals, leave a like on the video and tell us in the comments down below which one was your personal favorite. And remember, this Costa Rican adventure is far from over, so be sure to subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers now to catch all of the new content as it comes out. See you soon, everyone!